Have you ever bought a new fish for your aquarium only for it to disappear or it is found floating around your tank the next day? Well, you're in the right place since it's the right video for you. So today we're going to be talking about why most marine fish die. In your reef tank, fish can die from many things. For example, fish aggression. Fish aggression can come from things like overcrowding or lack of food. Fish in overcrowded tanks are also more likely to get stressed and are more susceptible to illness. I'll get back to illness later. But fish in overcrowded tanks will fight for territory. Some fish are more aggressive than others. For example, damsel fish are very territorial and especially when they get older. Pro tip, make sure you have enough hiding spots in your tank so that the peaceful fish can hide from the more aggressive fish and it's also recommended that you add the peaceful fish before you add the aggressive fish. Now that we got that section of the video out of the way, let's get back to illness. Illness is another major cause of death. There are tons of different diseases and illnesses that too many to get into in this video. If fish are stressed, they are more likely to get sick as mentioned earlier in the video and have a higher possibility of dying. I do have a video on ick, which is one of many diseases that are common in the saltwater aquarium, so I do recommend you check that video out. Now you may want to ask yourself what type of food you are feeding your fish and how much of it are you feeding your fish. If you, for example, are feeding a trigger fish, a herbivore based diet, that trigger fish will not be very happy because it is a carnivore. And if you, for example, are feeding a tang, a carnivore based diet, that fish will not be very happy, happy or healthy because those are the wrong diets for those fish. So make sure that you are feeding your fish the right diet because fish can starve to death if they are fed the wrong diet for too long. So make sure you research that and you know what to feed your fish. That brings us to the last thing that we're gonna be talking about in this video. And that is gonna be water quality. If you have bad water quality and you add a fish, it can stress the fish out. And we all know that this can lead to the fish getting sick. The next thing is that it can burn your fish's gills. If your fish's gills get burned, it can make it hard for them to breathe and can lead to your fish dying. To check if your fish has gill burns, you wanna see if the gills are discolored and if they are having a hard time breathing. This can be a sign of many different things, but if your ammonia is high, it is most likely gill burn. I hope this video helped you all out a lot, and if you all enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. If you all get this video to 20 likes, I will make a part two.